Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, here with some thoughts after the HBO face-off on the upcoming Floyd Mayweather versus Miguel Cotto fight. But before I continue, just remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, in the last few days, uh, a lot has happened. First, Emmanuel Stewart, who used to be Miguel Cotto's trainer, said that Cotto needs to fight a certain type of fight to beat Floyd. And Stewart talked about having a guard up and shooting a jab behind a tight defense. Well, then we had HBO's show, Face Off, where the two men were actually looking at each other, and Floyd Mayweather, you know, um, looks at Cotto when Cotto is asked how he plans to beat Mayweather. And Cotto had a rehearsed statement where Cotto said that they were going to figure it out during training camp. Now understand, Cotto's current trainer is the same trainer who trains Adlanir Solis. This is a trainer who used to train the Cuban national team. In other words, this is one of the best trainers in the world. And Cotto, in a subsequent interview, talked about how against Margarito, Margarito was the attacker, right? He was the aggressor. So the game plan was to keep that fight in the middle of the ring. Whereas with Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather fights a different style than Antonio Margarito. And Cotto's point was simply that in this fight, he might actually be the attacker. Now that's very different than Emmanuel Stewart's recommendation of having a high guard and shooting a jab, right? Well, let me just say this. I'm not a trainer. I'm just a gambler on the internet, right? But I expect this fight to be lopsided. But style-wise, let's go one step further. I want people to look at Floyd Mayweather against Shane Mosley in the early rounds before Mayweather gets hit with a right-hand haymaker. And keep in mind, Cotto can't throw a right-handed haymaker, right? He's a southpaw. He's predominantly a one-handed fighter, right? He's only pretending to fight out of an orthodox stance, right? His lead hand is his power hand. Right, so understand, in some ways, and I know he beat Shane Mosley, but in some ways Shane Mosley was actually a scarier opponent for Floyd Mayweather than Miguel Cotto, because Mosley has the concussive left hook. Look at how he took out Fernando Vargas, and that wasn't even at 147, that's at 154. Right, Mayweather has the, con excuse me, Mosley has the concussive left hook that Cotto has, but he also has a very hard right hand, right? I believe it's the hardest Floyd's ever been hit. Now just imagine if you took away that right hand from Shane Mosley, even with the right hand, before that punch lands in the Mosley-Mayweather fight, Early in that fight, it looks to me, and the film's up on YouTube, it looks to me like Floyd Mayweather is actually trying to walk down Shane Mosley. Right? Well, here, understand, Mayweather has a great lead left hook. It's a great punch. Right? Mayweather has his own explosive left hook. And it lines up to the right side of Cotto's body where Cotto has nothing. Okay, I don't want to sound too hard here. But understand, all of Cotto's power is on the left side of his body. Right? He doesn't have the right hand to keep a Floyd Mayweather honest on that side of his body. In other words, Mayweather, who has great defense, 
who should be able to block Cotto's power left. When Mayweather comes inside and starts throwing his own left hook, what happens? Right? Because Cotto doesn't have anything on that side of his body. So I believe that Mayweather is actually going to not only stay in the pocket as Andre Durrell in analyzing the fight has said. Right? But I believe, and I believe I might have that Durrell article up on predictboxing.blogspot.com. I actually believe Mayweather comes forward on Miguel Cotto. In other words, this isn't going to be Cotto as the attacker attacking Floyd Mayweather. I believe this is going to be Mayweather literally by the fourth or fifth round after Mayweather figures out the angles. I believe this is going to be Mayweather coming forward on Miguel Cotto to close the show. Now let's talk about the historical significance of this fight because it's huge. Mayweather may never fight Manny Pacquiao. Quite frankly, I think at this stage of his career, and this fight's not at 147, it's at 154, I believe he has bigger fish to fry. Right? I believe legacy-wise, he's actually much better off taking on the winner of the sweepstakes that's taking place right now at 160 pounds involving Chavez Jr., Andy Lee, and Sergio Martinez, right? And so in history, when we judge Mayweather and when we compare him to Manny Pacquiao, and let me just say, you know, it's still early. We don't know what's going to happen when Pacquiao fights Timothy Bradley, right? But when we look back in history and we compare Mayweather to Manny Pacquiao, understand there is already a common point of reference on a Hall of Fame level. And that's Juan Manuel Marquez. Now Marquez, and we'll argue about this till the cows come home. Marquez fought Pacquiao in very competitive fights. There are some, myself among them, who question whether Marquez lost any of those fights. Right? I believe the world is divided on whether Marquez lost the last fight against Manny Pacquiao, right? Freddie Roach fighter Ramir Khan sitting ringside thought that his stablemate Manny Pacquiao lost the fight. Against Floyd Mayweather there is no doubt. Marquez himself has said that he lost the fight to Floyd Mayweather and that Mayweather is better than Manny Pacquiao. Well, understand, Marquez is a certain Hall of Famer, right? He is a great fighter who, whenever you mention Mayweather and Pacquiao, you're going to mention Juan Manuel Marquez's name. He fought both. And the fight with Mayweather is particularly striking because Mayweather was returning to the ring after a long absence. And so the, the question is, did Marquez even fight Prime Mayweather, right? Because Mayweather had been out of the ring for something like more than a year. Well, now we have Miguel Cotto. And I believe Miguel Cotto is a Hall of Famer, right? When you look at Cotto's record, he only has two losses. He avenged one, right? And that was to disgraced Antonio Margarito, right? Now, understand... Rightly or wrongly, when Margarito was busted with loaded hand wraps against Shane Mosley, historically, that's going to cast a cloud 
over everything Margarito achieved in the ring. Right? That's just the way it is. I think Margarito is a very talented fighter who beat Sergio Martinez. But you and I know the minute you say that a guy loaded his gloves, that devalues everything the guy has done up until that point. Whether it makes sense or not, whether you can establish that in prior big fights uh, before different state commissions, before different officials, Margarito had his gloves checked. Unfortunately, 10, 15, 20 years from now, when you think Antonio Margarito, you're going to think about plaster, loaded gloves. People are going to question whether he ever honestly beat Miguel Cotto, right? Quite frankly, I thought the second fight was a bit dodgy. I thought it was stopped prematurely, but of course, in history, it goes down as a win for Miguel Cotto, right? So then that leaves Manny Pacquiao as a loss on Cotto's record. And people are going to compare Pacquiao's performance against Miguel Cotto with Floyd Mayweather's performance against Miguel Cotto. In other words, if Floyd Mayweather beats Miguel Cotto by a wider margin than Manny Pacquiao beat Miguel Cotto, then what's going to happen is when Marquez and Cotto get inducted into the Hall of Fame, People are going to acknowledge that these two opponents of both fighters got beaten by a wider margin than Floyd Mayweather, uh, by Floyd Mayweather, than by Manny Pacquiao, right? And I think, I think that's important to Floyd Mayweather. In fact, I think that's important to many fans. Certainly Manny Pacquiao's star will grow brighter if Miguel Cotto is able to pull off the upset on Floyd Mayweather, right? I don't see it happening. What I think is going to happen is I think the fighter with the superior hand speed, the superior boxing ability, the superior defensive ability, not only that, the ability to use not one but both hands, I believe what's going to happen is he's going to come out in the first round. He's a counter puncher. He's going to start slow. I believe Cotto is going to come up and try to be aggressive with him. I believe Cotto has to be because if Cotto tries to box Floyd Mayweather, he's going to get his socks boxed right off of him. Right? So I believe Cotto has to come in, has to try to shorten the distance has to try to treat Mayweather like he treated Carlos Quintana. And I believe what's going to happen is because Mayweather knows the heavy punches are all coming from Cotto's left hand, I believe Mayweather is going to start to defense that. Then he's going to start to land a very thudding left hook. And I believe by the fourth or fifth rounds of this fight, I'll be surprised if Mayweather is not the stalker in this fight, right? Don't be fooled by Mayweather's, you know, uh, defense first mindset early in fights. If you want to see a fight where Mayweather literally decides to just take a guy out, take a look at his fight against Arturo Gatti. Um, I actually believe in that fight. Mayweather starts to dominate it so convincingly that I believe Mayweather started to take it easy on Arturo Gatti. In other words, I believe Mayweather is kind of like Sugar Ray Leonard. These guys get the upper hand, they start to dominate, and like Larry Holmes against Ali, they start to look at the referee to stop the fight. Right, Manny Pacquiao. Same mentality, right? I believe Mayweather started dominating Gotti by such a wide margin. I believe Mayweather took it easy on him and still that fight was stopped, right? 
I believe Buddy McGirt did Gotti a favor in that fight. Well, here, I'll be surprised if it's not apparent to all of us by the eighth round that Floyd Mayweather is in complete control of his fight against Miguel Cotto. You know, Mayweather, quite frankly, is a special fighter, right? This is a fight that literally is for legacy, in a sense, because Mayweather may never get the opportunity to fight Manny Pacquiao. The promotional disagreements are that thick, right? Not only that, the other economic opportunities are that lucrative for Floyd Mayweather. Let's talk about them in the four minutes I have left here. Understand that if Chavez Jr. beats Andy Lee, and if Sergio Martinez then beat Chavez Jr., and these fights are already signed, right? You know, Martinez doesn't have to hope to get a fight with Chavez Jr. He has a date for September against Chavez Jr. Then understand that Sergio Martinez is going to be widely viewed as one of the very best in boxing. He should be viewed that way now, but there's some fans who don't know him. They'll know him if he takes out Chavez Jr. Well, Sergio Martinez wants to fight Floyd Mayweather. And understand, if you're Mayweather, think about it. What's bigger on your legacy? Would it be fighting Manny Pacquiao at 147, which is seven pounds less than you're gonna fight Miguel Cotto? Or would it be fighting the reigning middleweight champion a division in which Mayweather has never won a belt right Mayweather weighed less than Oscar De La Hoya when he fought De La Hoya for his 154 title this would be an opportunity and it would look staggering in the record books for Mayweather to take on a reigning middleweight champion even if the fight were fought God forbid at a catchweight Right? And I hate catchweights, but, you know, my point to you is simply, I believe in history. Just like we remember Sugar Ray Robinson fighting Joey Maxim for the light heavyweight title. Right? And that's one of the feathers in Robinson's cap, even though he didn't win the fight. I think we would remember Floyd against Sergio Martinez perhaps more than we would Floyd against Manny, particularly if Manny doesn't look appreciably better against Timothy Bradley than he did in his last fight against Juan Manuel Marquez. And so the stars are lining up. You know, we may have gone by the expiration date on a Pacquiao-Mayweather matchup. And so if that's the case, Mayweather's going to realize that he needs to beat Cotto by a wider margin than Manny Pacquiao did. I'll be surprised if Miguel Cotto is able to go the distance against Floyd Mayweather. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here online. Hey, I'm just trying to call it as I see it. Maybe Cotto springs the upset. This is boxing. Cotto certainly has a punch that gives him a puncher's chance in every fight in which he's in. But don't sleep on Mayweather's punch. As we discuss knockouts and puncher's chances, don't forget that Floyd Mayweather has a punch as well. And that left hook, when it lands can drop even guys with great chins as it has in the past. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for watching.